Maduro Clean Technology just announced their uh, share consolidation package. We are going to jump in and we're going to cover the news release uh, for you guys so you can understand how it is going to affect your current share count uh, all for the better. Um, nothing to worry about at all. Um, please understand nothing changes fundamentally with the company. I think this is um, um, all positive news and Duro is doing this out of strength, which is um, unique to this current situation with their last announcement of, of uplisting. This is just part of that announcement that we've been eagerly awaiting for so you guys can understand how this is going to affect your current share base. Um, I'm going to uh, share with you guys what it's going to mean for my share base specifically. So you're going to want to stay, stay tuned. Uh, and understand maybe the implication here on specifically the reduction in the share float. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more when we get into the news announcement. But first, I want to invite everybody to the disclaimer in the uh, description of this video. Please understand that um, uh, this video uh, uh, is provided for promotional and um, awareness purposes. We bring these uh, to your attention, and uh, I am compensated for my efforts to do that. Um, I'm glad to have been covering the Aduro Clean Technologies uh, story over the last two and a half years, and I've been a bullish share owner over that same time period. So please understand that um, my um, um, uh, my discussions regarding these announcements and what they could mean for the company are from a bullish share owner's perspective uh, and to encourage you to do your own due diligence in making your own investment decisions. But all that is made um, for you in the description uh, for you, the disclaimers, my current share account and um, maybe even potentially what this is going to mean here because we are going to close the book of business on ACTHF. Uh, what has been previously um, uh, Aduro Clean Technologies on the um, OTC quality board markets. We're going to enter into a new chapter. Uh, what that's going to mean for the coverage of the company through the independent investor channel is to be determined. Um, I will continue to cover the company as I think we're just getting started. Uh, I think that the fundamentals that have existed with the company that we've known about for many years now is just being discovered in the marketplace. Access to the stock, um, access via the premier market, which this company has not uh, enjoyed being part of OTC markets. Um, it, has, it has hurt its awareness. Uh, and I think that uh, all that is going to be solved and then some with the increased awareness to the company and the amazing things that Aduro Clean Technologies brings to bear, guys. So with that, let's kick in here and take a look at the press release. Uh, so Aduro just released this week their uh, announcement for their share consolidation. And I want to cover this, I'll let you guys know what this will mean. I will share with you guys what this will mean for my share base. So you guys can kind of understand um, what this could mean, what this is going to mean for your uh, current share base, but um, important to understand here um, the ratios and what to expect and, and how this is going to go down. Okay, so Aduro Clean Technologies announces effective date for share consolidation and conversion of the Class B special warrants. So we'll talk about the share consolidation first. Um, this is really, really simple. I anticipated a, um, a four for one. Uh, reverse split here. Uh, Aduro is, um, in my opinion, being fairly conservative with the three and a quarter. Um, and so ba basically for every, let's say you own a hundred shares of Aduro, it's going to reduce by about a third. Okay. If you want to have the exact amount, you just take, take your share count and divide it by 3.25. You'll have the exact number of shares that you'll be awarded uh, at the conclusion of this consolidation, all right? But I, I think the bigger picture here for you guys to understand is the reduction in the share float. And as it is related to the, um, the upper management, insider ownership of this company, 
there's not that many shares. <laughs> um, I, I, after this is all told, okay, what they're talking about here is is uh, 27 million uh, shares after the consolidation and new shares issued after the special Class B warrants, which were um, on the docket and have been for several years and incentive-based for um, meeting certain milestones uh, with the company, okay? But, but please keep in mind here that ownership after those Class B special warrants will no longer own uh, just over 40%. They will own close to 50% of the company, Okay. So if, if I'm going to give you my insight, I, I don't expect that there's going to be um, any selling from upper management with what's going on right now, which I consider to be nothing but positive with the advancements in uh, their collaboration and the uh, looming announcements that they have on uh, progress made with potential other collaborators that we have not been made privy to at this juncture. Okay, it is my assessment uh, that they moved to uplist because of positive moved uh, uh, positive news that will be forthcoming. Therefore, I don't expect there to be any selling at all after these Class B warrants are issued. Furthermore, I, I expect there to be a feeding frenzy on the remaining. Uh, uh, let's just call it fifteen million shares outstanding in the float, guys. Fifteen million shares. I'm looking at this from from a, a perspective of an investor that, um, you know, in our small community here uh, um, of uh, just a few of us who cover the company, uh, not to suggest that there aren't others out there, but I know of about a half a dozen uh, that um, actually are involved with the company. I, I know two people that can speak for around six million of those shares, Okay. So my question for you and, and things that you need to be aware of is stand by for roles because when we subject this company to the New York Stock Exchange, when this uplisting is finalized, I can guarantee you this, from now until then, there are going to be discussions that are happening that could not happen before. Specifically, conversations with institutions that could not engage in communications with a, a company that is traded on OTCQX that will no longer be traded on OTC markets, rather be traded New York Stock Exchange. Okay. Further, the market cap has increased with the last couple of announcement here released by the company, and it has got it up above what I contend you, uh, contended to be an important milestone for the company over the $100 million mark. Okay, Now, I do believe that with the increased awareness to the company that we are going to see a market cap re-rate in the company. Now, here's what I want to caution you guys on, okay? I, I, I invite you to the disclaimers. I always invite you to the disclaimers, and you need to understand that I all, as quick as I am um, sh quick to share this information with you guys on Aduro Clean Technologies, I also reserve the right to take profit when I deem necessary in the company. And I want you to understand that where it is prudent on the front side of getting involved in a company, it is also just as important for you to understand your obligation on the back end because I know there's people out there that are invested in this company that are sitting on some profits, okay? The reason I know that is because in the last 12 months, Anybody could have tripped and fell into this opportunity, knowing nothing about the company, having zero conviction about the company, and lo and behold, made some money, okay? If you come to the Independent Investor Channel and you expect me to hit the sell button for you at the perfect time on Aduro Clean Technologies, you're barking up the wrong tree. I will not do that for you. Further, I owe you nothing in way of what I do with my personal stake in this company okay as of this video uh, i own every shares that i've accumulated um, i currently own 132,500 shares in the company after the consolidation i'm going to own just shy of 41,000 shares so let's call it 40,000 shares for the independent investor channel further 
I want you to understand that the ACTHF project will cease to exist. We will not be talking about that anymore. Whatever money you made, whatever money you lost, if it's possible to do that over the last couple of years of owning the company, um, that is going to be done. We are going to enter into a new phase of covering the company and understanding that with the developments in the customer engagement program and the increased volume that I expect by the awareness that is going to come from uplisting to New York Stock Exchange, we are going to be talking about a potential here for a stock to move. Okay, We are going to be talking about a potential for a stock to to move. And I am not talking about a 40 cent move here. Okay. So why am I telling you this? I need you to understand that each and every shareholder out there has an obligation to themselves to understand why they are invested in the company, whether or not their conviction remains intact on the company, and what they expect in way of developments in the company to justify either holding your shares long or exiting the position at a time that you deem necessary for your own personal portfolio. Okay, I only give you that little bit of coaching in understanding where I stand and understand that I do not do this project to babysit the portfolios of thousands of people out there who I presume, by nature of my sharing of this message, have made a little bit of money on this opportunity. Okay, And for that, I congratulate you, but quickly give you the caveat to understand that your obligation is yours and yours alone to do what you want with this position. I will continue to share what has been up to this point for the last two years, a perspective from a bullish share owner in the company, okay? But once this consolidation happens, I will no longer own six figures of shares in the company. I will own just shy of 41,000 shares in the company. Will I continue to accumulate? No, I will not at this point. I will monitor the company. Am I selling? No, I am exercising my right to share, uh, to hold the shares based on this information that has just hit the wire on August 16th, okay? I will share a link to this um, press release. Uh, I invite you to sign up for the press releases on adurocleantech.com. If you have no conviction in the company and feel like they're not going anywhere, but you've made some money in the company, I think you do owe it to yourself to actually plug yourself into um, the news releases that uh, are pretty frequent. Uh, and I made a comment as of late that with regard to Aduro Clean Technology and their progress that has been made in 2024, I'm happy. Um, they could do nothing else for the rest of the year. Get this uplisting done, get uplisted, and allow some natural uh, appreciation to happen. Because my friends, there are a few things that are inevitable, and these are my opinions. These are my presumptions, and I offer my presumptions because obviously my instinct with regard to the opportunity that we are talking about now in 2024 existed back in 2022 when I started talking about this opportunity, okay? But my premonition is that with the increase in scrutiny and the consolidation of the total float that stands at around 15 million, which I think bakes in a lot of opportunity into the future as they grow into that anemic share float and allow a little bit of appreciation. It opens up their book of business for future financing options, uh, for expanding the business when these opportunities do transpire. And I think that there can be nothing but good that comes from a company that we knew had the goods all along and is now going to get to share it with a grander audience made possible by the awareness that comes through uplisting on the New York Stock Exchange, guys. So I will share a link to the to the, uh, to the news release, kick over, read it for yourself and understanding what this means for your current share uh, ownership in the company and how that is going to affect your uh, current share base 
uh, respective of the reduction in the total float of total outstanding shares in Aduro Clean Technologies. Guys, I appreciate it. We'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the press release. Um, I encourage you to uh, be patient with the process here. The uh, shares will work off of a consolidated basis in accordance with the press release on August 20th. So um, please understand what this is going to mean and the impact over your shares as well as the grander share float. Wanted to share this opportunity. I was waiting for it. I was curious to see what the ratio was. And now that we know um, it's going to be three and a quarter uh, shares um, uh, for, and, and you're going to be awarded one share for every three and a quarter shares that you have. So wonderful. We can do the very quick math and understand what that's going to mean for our, our new holding in Aduro uh, as we enter into the new chapter of covering this story as they bring what I consider to be the best technology, the best solution, and therefore provides an opportunity to would-be share owners in this company to the likes that I have never seen in my entire life. I chalk this to be a, a, an investment of a lifetime and, and I do contend that I believe we are just getting started on this opportunity. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in the entire video and, and invite you to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Um, leave your comments as to what you think this is going to mean, this uplisting with the newest announcement uh, and progress in their customer engagement program. It's going to be a lot of fun to cover this company uh, going forward. There's going to be a lot of churn. Um, and 2024, the latter back half, especially 2025 and beyond is going to be a lot of fun here. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and good luck in your investment future.